Hundreds marched through the streets of Ramallah shouting their support for the hunger strikers. A young demonstrator had a message for her brother in prison. I hope he takes care of himself and stays strong. Don't break your strike. We're with you in solidarity with all the prisoners. The hunger strike is being led by Marwan Barghouti, a popular Palestinian political leader serving multiple life sentences for murder since 2002. Barghouti's wife, Fadwa, says the water-only hunger strike has begun to take a toll. Their condition on the eighth day of this strike with no supplements or other liquids is expected to worsen. We're going to hear more about their deteriorating health. Their blood sugar and blood pressure are low. All this is to be expected. The Palestinian Prisoners Society says some of the strikers are being held in solitary confinement. Israeli authorities have banned family visits and blocked prisoners' access to their lawyers. They took away everything from the hunger strikers. They're left only with blankets and lousy mattresses. Israel is trying to wage war on the Palestinian people by waging war on prisoners and detainees. The Israeli prison authority told Al Jazeera it is punishing the striking inmates by moving them to separate cell blocks. It says it does not negotiate with prisoners. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu dismissed the hunger strikers as terrorists and murderers. As for the strike of the Palestinian security prisoners, that includes many of those murderers, we're leading a determined and responsible policy based on international norms, not what terrorists dictate. An estimated 6,500 Palestinians are in Israeli prisons, including women and children as young as 14. Inam Musa's son has joined the hunger strike. Of course I'm worried. I'm a mother. How else can I feel? Meanwhile, a group of Israelis amused themselves by cooking a barbecue outside a prison where some of the hunger strikers are held. They said their goal was to taunt and torment the hunger strikers with the aroma of grilled meat. In contrast, international support for the Palestinian prisoners is growing. Demonstrations in solidarity with the hunger strikers have taken place in the UK, Canada, Sweden, Germany, and other countries. Rob Reynolds, Al Jazeera, Ramallah, and the occupied West Bank.